lot of jump scares. Like... Yeah, that kind of <laughs> that that got on my nerves. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Fly By Now Reviews. I'm your host, Kieran. I'm Dom. Today we're going to do a review of the movie Smile. Um, this movie came out last year, so it's an older horror movie. I guess I wouldn't say older, but it's... It's a few months old, yeah. It's a few months old, but in, in modern day, uh, yeah, that's like, you know, like already like 20 years old, basically. <laughs> but um, but yeah, um, we, we checked this out on Amazon Prime. Um, I just finished watching it. <laughs> yeah, he watched it. Uh, like a few hours ago, I watched it last night. Um, overall, I I was pleasantly surprised um, because you know I've been watching reviews for this, but not not too many. Like I wasn't like super excited about it. Like I it had a cool like premise, like you know the whole smile yeah. thing. Um, but I didn't. Other than that, I didn't really know what the movie was about. Um, I went in cold. I didn't watch any reviews. I, the only thing I knew about is I, I have an uncle that just loves the movie. <laughs> He's seen it a couple times. Okay. But yeah, I. He didn't tell me much about it. I just watched it. So I was like, it was, well acted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, so basically, uh, it's a psychiatrist um, has a patient. <clears throat> the patient's kind of like losing it. Yeah. And. Um, she keeps telling her like, you know, some, something's after me. Um, it's like, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, it looks like someone, you know, and, but it's not. Yeah. It's, yeah. So I'm like, okay. So I was like trying to think like, okay, what, what kind of direction am I going with this movie? Right. And then, um, and then of course you, you've probably seen it in the trailer. They kind of like show a lot in the trailers actually, but she basically, um, like just, all of a sudden stops and her she just freaky starts smile yeah. yeah she's had this freaky smile and then she gets a piece of glass and she starts like cutting her face and then she cuts her throat and then she just like dies yeah so the you know obviously the the psychiatrist the doctor is like super like freaked out um because i guess when she was younger she she witnessed her her mother her yeah her mom oh I'm guessing her mother OD'd is what. Yeah, like either that or committed suicide, or yeah. I don't know by by pills or something. Um, so there's already kind of like they addressed she had some issues growing up, so this probably triggered a little bit of that. Yeah. Um, but then the moment she kind of witnessed all this, like weird things started happening. She started kind of seeing people smiling strangely, yeah. or just things in the dark. People in the like in the shadows and yeah. Yeah, it, it was kind of like, I was expecting more, um, like, horror elements. Right. But it was more thriller. It was like... Definitely more suspense. Yeah. Yeah. It was kind of like a psychological it was also thriller. With a slow burn. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, so basically, this, you know... Entity. Yeah, this entity kind of, it basically needs a host. So it's like every... So the victim, like, so she's basically the, vi like, the person who ended up with the freaky smile basically succumbed to this entity, and then the at entity sort of... Jumps into the, the, I guess, the witness. Of yeah. The act of, yeah. So it kind of needs a host in order to, like, sort of, like, I guess, survive or something. And then it torments, yeah, it torments the, per the host and then kills and... And to and jumps to the closest witness or something like that. Yeah, and it's almost kind of like it reminded me of a lot of other movies like, like Nightmare on Elm Street, where yeah. it was like, you know, she was experiencing something, but not everyone like it was almost like she was only experiencing it, and then yeah. everybody else was like, "You're crazy," yeah. and you didn't know what was real, what was not real. There was a lot of that in the movie, like kind yeah. of like. Um, I, heard I saw somebody compare it to like Nightmare or. Uh, the ring or oh yeah. yeah yeah i mean i haven't seen the ring in a long time but yeah definitely that kind of kind of horror and a lot of jump scares like... yeah that kind of <laughs> that that got on my nerves <laughs> like jump scares just annoy me <laughs> yeah my i was watching with my wife um last night and she you know got scared and she actually hurt her knee like she, like, oh. she moved her <laughs> knee too because you know her body just sort of like oh. but uh 
but yeah, I, I thought I thought it was cool. And then there was a point in the movie where I was like, okay, I'm kind of like a little bored. Yeah, like, I felt like they probably could have. Yeah, it shaved felt off half hour. Yeah, I was gonna say it felt longer. It was longer than it needed to be. Yeah, yeah, because there was a lot of like drawn out parts where it was just like, okay, we know it's gonna happen. Um, but I was pleasantly surprised by the ending because even though they, it kind of let you know exactly what this creature does, it like right. basically like tries to take over your your body, but you don't visually see it until the very end. Right. And they do kind of like a tr- like you think she escapes. Oh yeah, the like, fake out. Yeah, she 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 thinks she figures out a way to 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 trick this this entity, and then you think she like does it. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> it does the whole like, oh, she's back, you know, and it's, yeah. it, and then you actually the creature reveals itself, and, and yeah, it's pretty pretty cool creature design. Like basically, the creature like looks like this like <laughs> the Slender Man or something. Oh yeah, and then mm-hmm. starts pulling off its face, and its face reveals its like multiple kinda, smiles, and yeah, yeah, and then all of a sudden you see the creature opening up the mouth of of um what's her name Rose. Um, and then she goes in there, the the creature goes in there, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden it's like... It, she's possessed. Yeah, she's basically <laughs> possessed. So basically, that first person that she, her, that um, patient, right? that's pretty much what she was going through while she was with her. So you get to kind of see that visually, which is, which is cool. Right. And I was like, that kind of, I think that sort of saved the movie for me. Because there's a lot of movies that kind of like, they have a good build up, and then like the ending just kind of like... Peter's off. Yeah, you haven't seen Barbarian. No. That was another movie that like started off really well. Uh-huh. Awesome, and then it just kind of like went... Like, <laughs> maybe we'll do a review of that one but um, soon. But yeah, it was... But overall, I, I liked it. It was a good movie. Better than I expected. Um, you know, it had some cool creepy moments, for sure. Yeah. Um, it was it was really well acted. Yeah, she did a good job. Yeah. Um, I, I I had to look it up because I like her her ex boyfriend that's in the in the movie. Oh. I was like, where do I know this guy from? I know him from somewhere, and I I guess he was in like an episode of Walking Dead. Oh, <laughs> uh, was he? And that's how that's where I recognized <laughs> him from. <laughs> well, I recognized her her fiance was uh, the dude who played A Train and uh, the Boys. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Oh dang! <laughs> yeah, I was, I was like, oh, that's A Train. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, yeah, he was kind of like he was in. The, I thought he was going to be a bigger part of the movie, and then he just kind of like dropped off the yeah. face of the earth. And I was like, the other person that I recognized was the not her, not the girl who killed herself in front of her, but the person who infected that girl when she went to go f- and found the the wife of the doctor that killed himself in front of her oh that's right yeah she played carla in scrubs oh okay <laughs> so, all right yeah yeah so a lot of a lot of kind of you know kind of cameos in this movie too yeah. and the main character uh so C. bacon is actually kevin bacon's daughter um but yeah i, I love, I love the movie is good and yeah. uh you know if you haven't seen it i suggest go see it and it's you know it's free so yeah <laughs> can't can't go wrong with that but yeah. Um, but yeah that's it Well, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. As always, if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below. Let us know your thoughts on Smile. What did you think? Was this a good horror movie? Let us know in the comments. As always, we will catch you guys next time. Peace.